So this was an abstract looking at a subset of patients on the Bruin study, but it focused specifically on patients who stopped another BTK inhibitor because of intolerance. And so it wanted to look at and see would a non-covalent BTK inhibitor be tolerable in patients who stopped a covalent BTK inhibitor uh, for that exact reason where they had some side effect or some tolerance issue. And, and a key finding of this study was that yes, the majority of patients were able to go on to this non-covalent uh, BTK inhibitor and be able to maintain on it. Um, they saw responses in the majority of patients. And a key finding was that those that did discontinue pertubrutinib, that they didn't discontinue it for the same AE that they had with the covalent BTK inhibitor. It goes to show you that the toxicities of non-covalent BTK inhibitors and covalent BTK in inhibitors may not be the same, which is really a great opportunity for patients who are having tolerance um, with the first and second generation covalent BTK inhibitors, such as acalabrutinib, ibrutinib, or Zanabrutinib.